Right, so we're just going to look at some basic chord accompaniment um, with different time signatures and some tunes. We start off with Egan's Polka, which is very uh, quite a basic tune, and the bass and chord fit in with the melody. So you can play bass chord quite nicely with the with the melody, just the basic um part. So that's quite a simple one to start with. You can um, you can embellish that a little bit. You don't need to move off the D and A. Is that pretty much all the way through? But you don't have to do umpa umpa. You can you can put other things, uh, other little effects in it by either hanging on a uh, bass for longer or hanging on a chord for longer. Maybe going up there and trying the E minor when you're on a pull. So the next tune is Shepherd's Hay. So you can do much the same with that. It's quite a basic tune and it's in G. So you've got the extra chord this time of really, you really do need to go up to the C at some point. So you can play it quite staccato, which is just using the umpa. Which is fine, nothing wrong with that at all, but you can put some extra rhythm into the tune so you play the melody exactly the same uh, on your uh, right hand side, but just staying on some of the chords or the bass is a bit longer, droning maybe on the C rather than playing bumper on it, and actually when you go from, when just before you get to the C you can always press the B just to give it a slight rundown. just gives it a little bit more bounce so it takes away from sometimes playing umpa 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 on the basses all the time can get a bit monotonous so hanging on to a bass hanging on to a chord 
droning it or even missing it out completely can sometimes just change a tune and make it sound a little bit better. So the next tune is Constant Billy which is in 6-8 time so it's a jig um, which has a different bass and chord rhythm completely so it's so you can use that all the way through the tune Which is great for dancing um, because you've got the nice which dancers like to uh, be able to move their feet to so that really helps and they're, they're more more concentrated on the bass and rhythm side than they are on the melody but to actually play the tune in a session or for a band you might want to hold on to some of the chords drone them a little bit again perhaps go over to the B at some times when you should when you're moving between the G and the C just gives a slight little variation to that makes it sound a little bit different. Um, the other tune we talked about was Tripping Upstairs because uh, that's uh, that again is a jig, 6-8 time, uh, an Irish tune um, and we spoke about Irish boxes, Irish accordions being slightly different, they're tuned in BC so although they play in the key of G and D because they can, their basses don't actually work with the way the, the box uh, is set up so they tend not to play them anyway so a lot of Irish tunes won't play any basses or very very seldom where they put some basses in so don't really need to worry too much about basses on this one but you can put them in um, and perhaps just put them in a bit more sporadically so not quite so definitely not uh, duh, 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 duh. so let's have a listen to this So there, pretty much, the basses um, are at the first beat of every bar, so rather than trying to follow the whole rhythm, um, it's... Yeah, so you've got just accentuating the first beat of every bar. Another tune that's in Dave Malleton's book is Sweet Jenny Jones, which is a waltz, so that's in 3-4 time. And typically the bass accompaniment for a, a waltz or 3-4 would be and that can get quite monotonous and it can distract from the tune a little bit so I tend to use quite a lot of 
uh, holding on the basses or the chords uh, all the way through that because really you want the melody to, to come through uh, on this one. So donkey ride in, um, a tune in 4-4 uh, four, four time, again you can play, so we try it like that first. Again, you can try elongating some of the chords, mixing up uh, um, both of them. So you use a little bit of umpa, a little bit of drone, a little bit of just staying on the chord. So there's an idea of some of the basic chord and bass accompaniment that you can put with tunes. Um, and remember the most important thing is that it sounds right. And don't be afraid to drop a bass or uh, a bass or a chord out if you think it's muddling away with what you're playing on the, um, on the treble side, because that really is the most important thing. So make sure if you're starting to get into a little bit of a, a muddle where you're going in and out on this side and then the basses go wrong there, don't be afraid to leave that one out, it really doesn't matter. In fact, it can sometimes add to the tune.